Here's what's new in Fusion 360 manufacturing for January 2022. Let's kick things off with a new feature in NC programs. We've added a new field, file name, in addition to the program name and comment fields. This is helpful for machines that require the program name to be a number regardless of the file name. Also, this field can be controlled by an expression to automatically generate consistent file names. We've also got a new preview feature for editing toolpaths. Move entry positions can reposition the entry and exit points on closed contours based on a line drawn over the toolpath. This can be helpful for trying to control the surface finish for a feature that would otherwise leave marks on the part. Also in preview is an improvement to the live machine connection for Haas machines. Live data for some probe geometry cycles can be received by Fusion 360 for viewing and generating reports. If you use probe geometry on a Haas next-gen controller, give this a try. New for additive is 3D Arrange. This is a basic algorithm to stack parts using an envelope dimension. Once you've made your 3D Arrange, push this data to Formlabs Preform. While not necessarily a new feature, data for SLS printing can now be transferred to Preform, and the Formlabs Fuse 1 desktop SLS printer is available in the Fusion 360 machine library. Finally, we have a couple of new preview features for Arrange and Nesting. With Advanced Arrange enabled, the Arrange command provides more parameters for controlling the results, as well as the ability to multi-select objects to change these settings faster. The new Envelope tab provides even more functionality for achieving the arrangement of components that you need. Last but not least is Grain Control. This is a massive enhancement for woodworking, where control of the grain direction is a critical function for nesting. Set the grain direction for each component in the nest preparation step and see this reflected in the nesting results. Thanks for watching this month's update. Don't forget to check the blog post to see what else is new in Fusion 360. I'll see you in the next update.